what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix fps drops stuttering or frame drops in minecraft so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be a big support for me i mean it's free for you guys and you would support my work on youtube a little bit I would really be thankful for that. I'm gonna thank you for that and I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or going down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. So once your task manager pops up, I want you to go to the top left corner of your screen and look if you're sticking right around processes. The next step is gonna be to click right onto CPU and end every single task by right clicking and end the task which is obviously not have anything to do with Windows and uh, you're gonna do the same thing for GPU and guys let me explain that because sometimes on low end PCs or bad PCs it could happen that too many programs uh, running at the same time and in the background could cause FPS drops or frame drops so basically just end every single one which is having too much impact on your performance. So once we finish here, you're gonna close the task manager and the next step is gonna be to uh, go to the bottom left corner of your screen and opening up your settings. Next step is gonna be to navigate right onto gaming and stack around Xbox Game Bar. So what I want you to do is obviously gonna be to turn the Xbox Game Bar off because once, uh, so for the first time, the Xbox Game Bar doesn't really come with any benefits besides impacting your performance on bad PCs and causing FPS drops and frame drops, so just keep it off. Next step is gonna be to go to Captures and navigate right around background recording, go to record in the background while I'm playing a game and turn this off. Especially if you don't know it or you're not noticing it that you have turned this on, this will impact your performance really bad because everyone knows if you're recording something on your PC, it will impact your FPS and on bad PCs, it would really badly um, impact your FPS. So just turn this off. And guys, if you want to record something, you're probably not gonna use Windows for that. So either way, just turn this off and come back once in a while to check if this is turned off. Next step is going to be to click onto game mode. And what I want you to do right here is um, you need to check for your system specifically. So. Uh, you're gonna turn it on and look what your FPS drops are doing and uh, you're gonna obviously also turn this off and look what your FPS, FPS drops are doing and which one works better, you're gonna stick with it. Once you finish here, you're gonna go back to the main menu and click right onto update and security. But I want you to stick around Windows Update and I know guys, it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating your system, updating your Windows will help you a lot with frame drops and stuttering and all these stuff, so just download the latest version in order to provide the best possible performance for your PC. And once you did that, you're gonna close this one down and do the same thing for your graphics card. So download the latest version of your graphics card, it's gonna help you a lot with your frame drops and FPS drops, and you're gonna providing the best possible performance in general for your PC. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you guys, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.